done. Natural gas is one of the cleanest. All right, we're back again. Sorry about that. For the delay, uh, I had to replace my battery. Actually helping our economy. I can't convince you because I'm going to try and stay as long as I can. Unfortunately, the laws of Mother Nature are catching up with me, and I have to use the can. So I might have to leave, and I might have to leave and come back. That it is one of the cleaner resources out there of what we have available. Personally, this is very, very, very important to me, as it should be to each and every one of you. This is our mother. This is Gaia. We have been given a life to exist on her. And when we abuse her in the ways that, that man has done in the past, and when we scar her up the way that we have done, or man has done in the past, we are abusing our mother and our own lives. Now, there is energy everywhere in all of the multiverses. All we have to do is collect it and use it. We can do that in responsible manners without using any combustible engines, without using any fossil fuels, without poisoning ourselves. We've been so toxified with life and images in our that it's making us all very sick. We need Hard to, to hear. There's a lot of street noise. Where we can collect energy in a responsible manner with love for all and there are there are viable alternatives out there and i have several several plans in mind god bless you all thank you all right now, if you read only the corporate controlled media yes you will come to the conclusion that your only choice is the lesser of the evils now, defining what the lesser of the evils is also a question, because each evil causes different destruction. Now, it is totally true what Mike was talking about, that there have been documented earthquakes resulting from the cracking of the level under the ground where they do where they are doing this fracking. They're, they have found water supplies that light up on fire from all the chemicals. There are so many alternatives. There is wind, there is solar, there is geothermal, there's waste-based ethanol, and we haven't put the resources into them because the corporations tell us we only have certain choices, and those choices coincidentally benefit the profits of large corporations. Yes, yes. All right. Okay, next is Ryan. Uh, yeah, I think that there's a lot of people that actually would happily give up cell phones and electricity and all these things in fracking and uh, the burning of petroleum and the burning of coal. <laughs> We're going to stop entirely for industrial reasons. Um, I would happily use candles, to be honest. I would happily wake up with the sun and go to sleep with the night if if, if these things were to stop. Um, I would also like to talk about, um, I think that we should take a two-headed approach. I've always been very oriented towards direct action. Guys, I think I I'm going to have to take a short break and go to the bathroom.